Okay, welcome back to Mostly Running, and uh, this is uh, my course recce of the Surrey Half Marathon 2023 course. Um, 100 metres of elevation, and uh, it's fairly uh, PB potential, I'd say, has this course. Uh, so out of Woking Leisure Centre, you take a left, um, and you're heading along the uh, the A247 uh, out of town, and it's, uh, it becomes Kingfield Road. This is all nice and flat. Uh, great start to begin with. Uh, just what you want for a nice half. Uh, you're protected on either side by houses. Uh, and as you hit a kilometre, uh, just before a uh, roundabout coming up here, I actually made a mistake when I was driving. Um, I took a, uh, a left, but so it's going to be a shortcut here. And now you're running along Vicarage Road. Uh, all this footage is sped up, by the way. You've got not got to worry. I wasn't speeding at all. So you uh, head along Vicarage Road, and this is all still nice and flat uh, as you're starting to head out of town through some nice rural areas. Uh, Vicarage Road becomes Westfield Road, and now you're heading along an area of the course. You actually end up running twice. You run back in the other direction, um, and as you hit uh, two kilometres, this would be 20 kilometres, pretty much coming back the other way. Um, uh, so you head down the uh, Westfield Road for a little bit longer, so B380, and then you take uh, a little a little left and a right, and here we are, it's like slight cut there, here's your right, uh, and now you're heading down New Lane, uh, some cyclists are coming along the way, which is always a good sign, shows it's a nice quiet country lane. Uh, and again, this is uh, this is all nice and, uh, and flat, so it's a great start to the course really, and you can really sort of get into your stride. Um, as we come along New Lane, heading out into the countryside now, and um, this uh, this lane carries on. It's quite a long straight road, really. And uh, towards the end of it, you, uh, I think we uh, start our first little uh, incline towards the end of this road. But otherwise, um, as I say, it's a very nice, fast, flat start to a course. Yes. Yeah, so after you've taken this left, um, you're in Sutton Green. Uh, sorry, the right. You're in Sutton Green Lane. And, um, and this is uh, sort of heading along this between kilometers four and five and up to uh, up to 5k really. There's nothing much to note in terms of the um, elevation. It's all nice and fast and flat. Um, and then uh, after 5k, you have your first little climb um, up uh, Blanchard's Hill. Um, and, uh, but that's immediately followed by really nice uh, decline, nice little downhill. So um, I'd say most of the uh, the inclines on this course, uh, although obviously the elevation is net equal, it feels like it's uh, you're going downhill more. Um, then you take a right onto Clay Lane, uh, and again this kind of slopes a little bit upwards. And uh, sort of between six and seven kilometres, this is really the uh, the only part of the course this is probably the hilliest part of the course um, in terms of this sort of the steepest incline and you've got a right turn up here and I've had to cut some footage um, from walk hike run because I couldn't turn right um, so they've actually filmed uh, most of the entire course actually if you want to check out their channel um, I think their GoPro ran out of battery so they, uh, they couldn't get too much further than that um, so we are now uh, on the, uh, the A320 and then we immediately turn left on Burden Shot Road um, and now, uh, once we've hit seven kilometres, I'd say that the course is the approach is undulating. Uh, really, I mean, it's nothing serious. If you're a, a hill runner, um, you're barely going to notice these. But the course does go either up or down. You're kind of going up and down for a, a while. You've got a little railway bridge. You go over there, and there's a few uh, sort of river humps you go over as well. Um, you're heading along Burden Shot Road. Um, and then uh, this is quite a long, a long lane really, um, with a, as I say, a couple of little inclines and then a nice, uh, a nice decline towards the end of it. But basically, if it's a nice day like this, uh, I think it's time. You know, you should be well into your stride. Um, this decline is particularly nice, actually. I think you'll get, probably get up a nice bit of speed um, between uh, eight and nine kilometres. Um, and then you take a left at the end, um, and then a cute little bridge. Uh, this is 9k and you're at small uh, Heath Lane um, and again you're going through nice country paths uh, this will all be closed off of course uh, and a left hand at the end um, uh, to join Smart Heath Road um, and uh, then again there's nothing major to note along here uh, again you're just it's nice fast and flat um, and then you take a right onto uh, Black Horse Road. 
And again, there's a couple of little bumps, a little, a little hill towards the end of this. Um, there's kind of a sharpish right onto Saunders Lane coming up. And then again, you've got a little bit of a hill um, immediately after that um, as we approach halfway. I'd say this course is the uh, mirror opposite of the Wokingham course, which I uh, ran a couple of weeks ago. Wokingham starts uh, hilly and ends hilly and it's very flat in the middle. And I'd say the Surrey half uh, starts nice and flat and finishes nice and flat and any hills are very much in the middle of the course. Uh, the overall elevation as well, as well is more like 100 meters as opposed to Wokingham, which is more like 120, 130. So uh, out of the two, I'd say this one is definitely uh, faster with a better BB potential. Um, okay, so yeah, so we're heading along um, Saunders Lane. Um, starting to head back into town at 12k um, and again I think this section of the course slopes ever so slightly downhill um, you rejoin um, the B380 which you left earlier on the left and then you've got a little hill over the railway again You're coming up um, and then again a nice little slope downwards uh, to uh, the major uh, the roundabout the Mayford roundabout and of course I'm going to drive this around this um, taking the left but during the race you'll uh, go to the right and this is quite a good place for potentially for spectators to stand uh, other than the beginning of the course because um, we basically go out along the A320 for, uh, for a few kilometres and, and then turn around and come straight back again so uh, your spectator friends will see you uh, leave and, and come back and again this is a I would say this is a it looks long and psychologically maybe tough but it's actually pretty flat and um, not particularly challenging so on the way out um, you're hitting sort of 14 and, and 15 kilometers uh, and there is a slight incline towards the end of it just as you get to 16 kilometers uh, but basically uh, you uh, and of course you'll see runners coming the other way so if you're running with club mates you'll see them pass you which is always a nice thing as well assuming they're ahead of you uh, if not you'll see them uh, behind you as you're running back as well now obviously I couldn't do a u-turn in the middle of the road um, so just after this little rise here we're going to cut to at 16k we're now driving back the other way so you will have done a u-turn in the road and we're heading uh, back along uh, the Guildford Road so you'll um, you'll see people coming towards you now you'll be on the right hand side of the road and it starts with a nice uh, downhill slope as well which is uh, which is great um, and so yeah once you've hit 16k you've got 5k left it's pretty much all flat to the finish um, these last four kilometers uh, it's a really uh, I'd say a, a, a really good finish to a half marathon you can really um, get your speed on get working um, you approach uh, the uh, the Mayford roundabout again and this time you're gonna cut in and um, and take a right turn just before we get to uh, to 19 kilometers getting slightly ahead of myself here um, but yeah, as I say, this uh, I can see this section possibly being psychologically tough on the way out, but on the way back, uh, you know you're getting into the finish. You'll take a right at this roundabout, obviously I, I have to go the long way round, you'll take the short way round, um, and uh, then you're into uh, the Guildford Road, um, and in a moment you're going to take a left, mm, a little slope as far as I remember, and then another downhill again and uh, then you are basically on the on the B380 again um, and you're about to rejoin the road that you left there's new lane coming off from the right there so you're now running along a section of the course that you uh, ran before um, so again nice fast and flat but instead of going straight uh, so you've just hit 20k which you hit 2k going out um, just past the church you're going to take a left on Westfield Avenue um, and then, uh, yes, uh, this is a, there's a couple of speed bumps on this uh, road, which I'm sure you can uh, you can avoid just to be wary of those. I suppose if your legs are tired. Um, but this uh, uh, road will take you back for the last kilometre, all nice and flat. And at the end of it, you're going to take a right and a sharp left. And there's Woking Sports Centre just approaching uh, in front of you, uh, so you can start your uh, your kick for the final kilometre if you can. Uh, about here. And obviously there won't be the traffic, you can take a right and a sharp left and you're into the final, uh, the end of the finish. So I assume the finish is somewhere just along here. So that's uh, that's the working half, that's 13.1 uh, miles in about nine minutes. Anyway, I hope that was useful, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, share this with your friends and uh, tune in for more running content. Thank you.